This is the final now of the men's 100 meter freestyle S10. And again, we look at a, a host of swimmers who have the ability to claim victory in this, but you would surely be looking at uh, one of the two Australians in Rowan Crothers and Maxim Kripak. There's a, shall we say, budding rivalry? Yeah, I mean, you saw Rowan Crothers take the 50 and just talk about that celebration afterwards. <laughs> but the rivalry between him and Kripak, Kripak, he looked mad after the 50, so you know that he wants to come uh, he wants to win. I think we'll see him go out strong, but he does have a very strong back half. Dmitry Bartosinski goes out for RPC in lane eight. Representing Poland, Ola Nogorzalek goes in lane one. The 22-year-old Dutch star and world championship uh, silver medalist in the 400 meters, Bastaken of Netherlands, goes in seven. In uh, lane two is the Brazilian Felipe Melo Rodriguez, bronze medalist in 2016, silver medalist in both 08 and 2012, the genuine veteran of the games. Thomas Gallagher. He looked so good in uh, the morning preliminaries, the former surf lifesaver in Australia. Stefano Raimondi, already a gold medalist at these games, having won the 100 breast. The 23-year-old from Italy goes in lane three. The man with the most memorable winning celebration at these games so far. As he beat Maxim. especially from Kripak, what he has to do is he has to go out fast because he we know he's going to finish well so the question is can he get out fast enough there's Crothers for a short while classified s9 back to s10 but a lot of hard work particularly on the upper body yeah i mean look at his strength right there i mean he's a hard worker Maxim Kripak is going to be very difficult to beat. That's Raimondi. Stefano Raimondi. His partner, Julia Terzi, already a medalist as well. As they've both performed at these championships in Italy, and certainly among the, the, uh, the best when it comes to medals. So far, a dozen for Italy in the pool. So, Ogarzalek, Rodriguez, Raimondi, Kripak, Crothers, Gallagher, Tucken, and Bartosinski. Really good start from Crothers going off as uh, Maxim Kripak looks to use his uh, underwater. It's a really great start as well from Rodriguez going in late two for Brazil. Yeah, uh, Rodriguez, I mean, he did well in the 50, so you know he's going to have that early speed. But I expect that Crothers and Kripak are going to be super strong coming in this back half. Now, much is going to depend on the turn because the top four are all very close to one another. It is Rodriguez who turns first, but... Nobody really using the underwater very much. Crothers, though, has looked to be the best on the turn. Who will bring this home? They're coming up to uh, the halfway mark in the pool at the 25-meter mark. Take your pick of who's going to win this. It looks like Kripak at the moment is just edging in front. Rodriguez is looking to hold on for the medal here as Raimondi is coming back at him. And indeed, the man on his outside, Crothers, is fading. It's going to be Kripak who gains a modicum of revenge. And in world record time, 50.64 seconds, Maxim Kripak. He might have known he needed a world record to beat Crothers in the form that he's in, and indeed he produced it. There is a mutual respect. Immediate congratulations from Crothers, who takes the silver on this occasion. Roles are reversed in the 100 from the 50, and Raimondi, with the touch for bronze, just edging out Rodriguez. World record. Smashing swim from the Ukrainian. 
And Maxim Griepak, a smile on his face now. It's a bit of a different reaction than we saw from the 50. Well, after that silver, he was incensed. But bear in mind, he was an eight-time medalist in his only games, Maxim Griepak. Five golds and uh, three silvers last time out in Brazil. Now this 